Well, here's our vending machine. This is the side panel. We're going to do this part today. We'll do the front end. And because it's wedged in here and this thing is so heavy, I cannot move it at all. Not even an inch. But um, because it's wedged in there like that, um, I have to do that one once we move the... I have to do this side once we move the vending machine into the store location. But this is what it looks like on the front. Boom. It's just basic black. And shout out to my vending machine guy. He came when he installed this, when he installed the Nyax. He actually cleaned out the inside and he painted the whole thing for me. So, all right, so I got all of my stuff situated, but we're going to start with the side panel. And because of that, we need our letters first. So... I'm going to cut them. And obviously, you can't, um, everybody knows Vinyl 101. In order to transfer 
or in order to get this onto the machine, we need to use um, transfer tape. Boom. So yes, I did not get a brand new one. I hope this is enough. Then I got this one too. You can tell this is old. It's dingy, but it's gonna still do the trick. So, with your, ugh, I'm just about to show you. So before we get started, <laughs> and disclaimer, this is my first time ever attempting to do something like this, but I'm a left-handed Virgo, Virgo AF, so you already know. This is trial and error, so if I mess up, y'all gonna see where I messed up at and just do it better yourself. But this is a DIY <laughs> a vending machine project. So obviously, because this has been in my garage for like two years, before I finally decided to do something with it. It's a little dusty, but even though the guy had clinked it off, so what we're gonna do is we use this alcohol and this um rag and just wipe the pollen off because spring is springing, honey. And down here in Atlanta, when spring get to springing, baby, pollen be everywhere. It's like the whole city is covered in a neon yellow. But yeah. So we're just gonna wipe. Oh yes. I'm using my knowledge of stuff. My knowledge of just how to clean something for doing this. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we're going to do what it do. I ain't going to do the bottom right now till we get down here. Yes. So, he did paint this vending machine, but you can still see some imperfections, but that is quite all right. My first, my first piece. We're gonna place this. I'm super excited for this. I'm so excited. Okay, so I don't even have a layout. H. Boom, trust the old credit card. making sure it's no bubbles everything feels good no bubbles underneath the big reveal first piece Ooh. oh yes 
I can already tell this is going to be super, this is going to be too good. Too, too good. Don't make that mistake. Because this is permanent vinyl, I mean, we can probably still get it off of here, but if you don't place this correctly, then it's gonna be hard to get it off. Uh-oh. I laid the other two so easy. What is the problem? Oh no. You got to take your time. You got to take your time doing this. Be right back.
so I'm like I'm like that grandma from down south that don't measure anything I just got the eye but I don't know if you could tell it is crooked but so what <laughs> but I think that looks wonderful so there's more that I'm going to do off camera and then when we come back I'm going to show you the whole finished side of this I'm excited if y'all like this video already give me a thumbs up and um, leave in the comment any questions that you might have I didn't know what I was going to say leave in the comments any questions that you might have or if there's a project you want to see me do next be right back Let me make me feel too